Hello, I'm Landon Norris, and welcome to The Art of Data. Hi, I'm Leeston Bryan, Senior Marketing Manager, Esports and Gaming at McLaren Racing. We're here today to see how Splunk helps the McLaren F1 team and the McLaren Shadow Esports team turn data into doing. Behind this door is the McLaren Shadow Studio. We've got state-of-the-art technology, but most importantly, Splunk dashboards, which enable us to analyze specific data to help our team race and hit peak performance. So Lando, we've all seen you behind the wheel. It'd be far too easy to put you in today. So we're gonna put Will, your race engineer in, who we okay. hear every weekend, and you're gonna give him some coaching. We're gonna look at some data and we'll see how fast you can make it. Let's give it a shot. So Will, welcome to the McLaren Shadow Studio. So um, you're not usually in the, uh, in the driving seat, but under Lando's expert guidance, we're gonna see how you do on a few laps and see if we can improve them using some Splunk dashboards. Three laps around Silverstone. Let's see what you got. Okay, I'll give it my best. This one's flat, isn't it? Yeah, the left is flat and you kind of lift into the right. Beauty! Down to fifth. Or sick. You should be a driver, mate. Don't be scared of apexes, Will. <laughs> or exits. Or exits. <laughs> wow, past the slap, Will Josie. Lando, tell us a little bit about what type of data you're looking for. So with Splunk, we have a dashboard and therefore we can look at all of these vital bits of information uh, and the crucial things which will help us go quick. So I think the simple channels we're going to use here for me are throttle, brake and the gears. As you can see, very jumpy, very up and down. Not quite like your one. No, not as beautiful as mine. So you're a bit indecisive with things. Yeah. You come on, you're off. You're a bit too much forward and back. So be a bit more patient in the middle of the corner. Wait till you know you're on the exit and then full throttle. Commit. Commit. Okay. Cool, let's go. All right, you're one second up ready. I'm doing engine damage, I can tell. <laughs> what are we saying then? Stay in seven. Stay in seven. A little, a little bit before. Much better. Oh, stop, turn, 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 turn. Good, you're 1.4 seconds up. I've got to remember It'll that. It worked. All right, last lap. You got it. Nice. 1.1 1 .1 seconds up. 1.3 up. 1.4 up. Nice. One second to go. All right. This is your best lap. One minute, 36.3. Well, guys, it looks like you make um, a pretty good team. Great to see those uh, lap times improving by up to two seconds. Will, how'd you find it today? Honestly, really difficult, but with Lando's coaching, it was uh, you know, a really good experience. So we know you guys are a competitive bunch. It'll be very interesting to see how Daniel gets on with his engineer, Tom. So um, they have no chance. All right, let's go and take a look, see what happens. Thanks, Leeston. Looks like Daniel's giving Tom some guidance over there. Let's go check it out and see what they're up to. Tom's really zoned in right now. Tom, being Daniel's race engineer, this is a new position for you. It's really hard driving and talking. Three laps, right? Let's see what you can do. Yeah, we got this, Tom. All right. All right, let's go, baby. Don't forget the break. Nice, good exit. Send it. Nice. Scenario two, recharge off. Great start, three laps in. So what are we looking for here? What are we reading? So we're trying to look at, obviously, lap to lap. I'd like to say trying different things, but I'm probably flattering myself to say that. Whereas when we look at, at Daniel's data, every lap's like super consistent and we're really in really small differences. So DR, what can I do better? I think turn four was a bit of a problem corner. I think commit to stay out longer a little bit, or stay out wider a little longer, and then cut back and you'll get a much better exit. And then that takes you down towards, uh, what's that, turn six. Well, why don't we um, get back in the sim and see what we can do for the next three laps and hopefully beat Lando and Will. Let's do it. That's all we got. That's, That's all there That's is. That's right. Nice. This one tightens, remember? Yep, that's all right. Get a nice exit and these progressively get tighter, nice and steady. Yeah, you can break at like the 50. See, it's quite deep into the corner. Yeah. That was really nice. Starting to get the hang of it here. Flat out, baby, that's a big lap, 33.8. You're just taking two seconds off, 2.8 seconds off. Tom, how important is data across real life racing and esports? The level of accuracy that these guys can achieve is phenomenal. Maybe it's just the way my mind works, but looking at the data kind of helped me. I could see 
a lot of the inconsistency. Well guys, I'm very pleased to tell you that you were able to improve better than Lando and Will. 2.8 versus 2.1 improvement. So congratulations, you beat Team Lando. Good coaching, Dale. That's what we do, baby. <laughs> That's what we do. Thanks for watching the latest episode of Art of Data. It's been great to show you around and give you some insight into what happens in the McLaren Shadow Studio.